Hey guys, welcome to lecture of control templates in WPF from .NET School. Now in this lecture, we will understand the basis of templates in WPF. So first we will look into control templates. So templates allows, allow us to customize the look and feel of the control. Also the way a control or data is displayed onto the screen. So to customize the look and feel of the control, we need control templates and how to display the data onto the screen. It is done with the help of data templates. So in this lecture, we will understand what are control templates in WPF. So let's quickly jump into what are control templates in WPF. Now control templates allow us to specify the visual structure of a control. For example, if we need to change the shape of our button to ellipse or some other shape, we can use control templates. Now each and every control of WPF has a default template associated with it. Now it's up to us that if we need to use the same template or we need to change it. If we change that template according to us, we can change the shape of that control. Uh, so say suppose we need to change the shape of our button to an ellipse or a circle, we can use control templates. So let's quickly see that in action through Visual Studio. Now here I have a very simple button. It's a, uh, the content of that button is I am a button. Okay. And I have also associated a button click event uh, which uh, displays a message box and it says I am a button guys okay and I have associated uh, 60 pixels and 160 pixels as the height and width of this button and let me run this application and you can see when I, whenever I click it, it gives me I am a button guys because the message box is associated with it so suppose I am working for a rich UI thing I am designing a rich UI I don't want the natural shape of this button as a window control or as a window button I need to change this button to an ellipse I can do this through a control template so let's quickly do this so I have button dot template this is the default template of this button if we don't specify anything it takes the window shape so we will be changing this template property of this button through control template okay and let me specify the control template you can see the moment i specify a control template the shape of my button has disappeared because now wpf does, doesn't understand what is inside this control template because we are not written anything inside control template so we are changing the template property of my button so let me give it a shape of ellipse let's give it a fill of red color okay let me close this ellipse and you can see the moment i do this my button has become an ellipse let me try to run the application now you can see my button is rendered on the screen as a ellipse and if i click this button it works the same it gives me i am a button guys so i have changed the look and feel of my button through a control template now you might have seen that this the moment we have done this we have changed the look and feel of this button we do i don't have a content property associated with my button that is it's not showing me i am a button right and say if i remove this part that is control template part from here it gives me the content property that is i am a button so let me paste it back and you can see there is no content property in my button now why is that because wpf don't understand where to put that content once the template of that button is being changed that is i have changed the template property and by default the content property of the button is placed in this template now since i've changed this template wpf don't doesn't understand where to keep that content in this ellipse shape so let's move back to our slides first and understand what we need to do this now you can see the third point on customizing our controls the content of controls are lost because wpf is not sure where to place the content on the control and this problem is solved with the help of content presenter so we need to use a content presenter to show the content of our controls if we are using control templates this is also a very good interview questions often asked in wpf interviews that what do you mean by content presenter or what is the use of content presenter so you can specify this example so let's move back and get our content back so let's specify my content presenter and 
and you can see the moment I specify content presenter I get an error that is it says the visual tree is set more than once that means if we need to hold this value of content I need some content holder that is this button is being placed inside a grid same goes with this content presenter because we need something to hold this content presenter in case of this template there there was already a content holder for this button which holds this content i am a button so let me specify a grid to hold this control template okay i need to specify a grid to hold this ellipse so let me specify a grid and let me take this closing tag of this grid to here and the moment i do this i get my ellipse back but still we don't have a content on our control because wpf doesn't understand which is the control specified in this control template wpf just understand understands what is in, uh, specified inside this control template not outside this control template so outside this control template is specified with help uh, with with a button so wpf does not know that this control template is being applied to this button so let me specify a target type of button and you can see the moment i specified a target type now wpf understand that this control template has been applied to a button and it gives me a content of this button so let's specify the alignment of this content presenter center and vertical alignment as center so now let's try to run this and you can see i have my button with a proper content and let me click this and it, it works properly so this is the use of control template to change the shape of my button or let's try to change the shape to circle or say rectangle you can see my button has become a rectangle so let's change it back to ellipse here it goes it becomes a ellipse so let's move back to our slides so control templates are generally applied with styles and triggers let's see how we can do this so let me make a style in window resources window dot resources section and let me say style let me give it a target type say button and let's not specify the key because uh, we will be Im Im implicitly applying applying the styles to all of my buttons let's define a setter setter and property as template so this is the setter property so that we can define the setter and let's you can see i have not defined the value for this template property that's because value is not a static value i need to specify the whole control template as a value so let me define the value as setter dot value and now let me take this control template from here and paste it in as a value of this setter property and let me remove this button template from here because it's getting me error and you can see i have applied the control template as an style so let me try to run this and you can see my button runs as expected so let's move back to our slides so control templates appear similar to styles but they differ in the sense that in a style we get properties of a control and in control template we define the ui of a control and use the properties that are set in the style so what do we mean by this now we, you can see we have specified the value of this style as a complete control template whereas if we are using a style for a button we can have the background property and set the 
foreground as blue white whatever you need to so we are getting the properties of a control in styles whereas in control templates i always define the complete ui of the control so this is the difference between a style and a control template so if you need to change the look and feel or change the complete shape of that control you can use control templates whether as if you need just to change the background foreground or say something um, small things you can use styles but you can always use a control template inside a style and same goes with the concept of triggers also you can also specify the value of a trigger as a control template itself so let's move back so here are the slides for you to note it down and thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do subscribe for my channel thank you so very much